Hello everyone, this is uh, a video to show you how to solve a problem in a Polaris 500. This applies for 96, 97, 98, 90, 99, 2000, 2001, probably 2002. The engine 500, which was bought this Polaris is 6x6. I've been doing some work in the middle axle. axle. It has six wheels so we got it for a deal six hundred dollars but happens to have a problem let me show you it's bogging on high rpms it only has 500 hours let's see what it does that's neutral let's hood Look at that. Let's see what it does. So it turns it right on. But the problem is when you accelerate, it idles just perfectly. And when you press the pedal, it goes, but it kind of bombs. Loses power, it bombs. loses power starts to bog in you can't go any farther than 10 15 miles per hour then eventually it just stalls so you know what I was looking at the carburetor we replaced it it's not the issue we rebuild it it's not the issue we're looking at the CDI to replace it but it's not the issue you know what the issue in these vehicles it's the engine the camshaft so we're gonna open that because the camshaft is gonna be the exhaust uh, piece is not it has been rounded off it's no longer opening this is a notorious issue in the Polaris 500 we go on the other side. This is a Ranger, but it applies for the Sportman for any ATV 500 from 99, 96, 97, 2000, 2001. These engines, the Polaris 500, are notorious to fail from the camshaft exhaust. You kind of the camshaft, it goes like that here, but I it gets rounded off because of the bad metal that was constructed in these camshafts so the exhaust is no longer exiting as high as the rpms on the engine so that's needs to be rebuilt there's a lot of videos here in youtube all you gotta do is take off this cover put it on time top the center take off this is a tensioner you can look up a video uh, this too is a cover for the timing belt and the top end then then you take off the camshaft put in, in time before you do anything and then uh, replace it put a new one and then assemble it back on and that's gonna work beautifully you're gonna get your ATV or Ranger back to full throttle full power is not gonna bug anymore it's gonna run just like a champ so don't mess with the carburetor first uh, the problem if it's bugging if it's losing power if it's not going too fast enough it's gonna be more than likely the camshaft is round the exhaust especially the exhaust uh, valve is gonna be rounded off it's not doing its job the way it's supposed to be so that's a problem. Look into it, don't replace any carburetors. Can I replace two of them? It's doing exactly the same thing, even the new one. I returned it because it's not that's not the issue. It's gonna be the camshaft on the top that end. It's gonna be the especially the exhaust valve. That's the one that is causing problems to the engine. It's bogging, it's losing power, it's not 